Hey Nifty Thrifty here today to feature a Kenmore Model 1560 convertible machine. Um, this is an all metal machine. It's um, late 70s, mid to late 70s I believe. I will check that. Um, very clean machine. It has both regular and stretch patterns built in and you access those patterns by the knob on the top. Um, it has two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, looks like ten or twelve built-in stitches. Um, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm sorry. Twelve. And they're all accessed here. Um, this is your stitch uh, length. This is your stitch width. Your reverse is here. It has an automatic button holder built in on the dial. Feed dog drop here. Power. Of course, bobbin winder on the top. It is double needle capable. And it is, of course, a class 15 machine. Now, convertible machine, if you're not sure what that means, that means that this machine can be used as a flatbed machine or a free arm machine. And to access the free arm, and I'm doing this one handed, mind you, because I've got the camera in the other hand. To access the free arm, you just pull the extension bed off, and this exposes your free arm. Free arms are nice for sleeves, pants legs, smaller clothes, pillows, I mean, just stuff that you just can't do easily on a flat bed. Class 15 bobbin, of course, accessible right here. Short shank, uses 15 by 1 needles. Now, if you happen to need to access your bobbin and you don't want to remove your bed, you can do that as well just by flipping up this little panel and there's your bobbin access without removing the whole extension table. Pretty cool. Extension table is metal. It's a one amp machine and it's all metal internal parts. And the funny thing is, I bought this machine off Craigslist from a local girl and she she wanted to make sure I knew that this machine was only for very, very um, simple and light projects. Feed dogs were frozen up, had never been lowered. I've been worked on this machine a few days to get it ready to go. It is now ready to go. It comes with a box loaded so full of goodies that I can barely get the lid shut. And if you look at the pictures in the listing, you'll see what it comes with original manual in like beautiful beautiful mint condition I mean absolutely beautiful it doesn't even look like it's ever been opened it's shiny that's very rare and like I said it is double needle capable there's a double needle included in the goodie box and I'm going to sew a few things so you understand that you are getting a serviced working machine cosmetically it's very clean as well there's no paint loss paint dings paint damage at all very smooth machine and if you've watched any of my videos you know that Kenmore's are my favorite you can you'll see me go from cotton to denim to leather and I never ever adjust the um, tension and that's what I love about them it's you know it's just phenomenal all right this is on a decorative pattern it's on the arrowhead so we'll go ahead and do that Here we're doing this the arrowhead. It is a center needle machine. Just your head, and this is what I call your domino or your box stitch. I have a model similar to this that I use myself. Now, this also does stretch. And the stretch is accessible just by turning um, part of the dial. You see the fabric working up and back, doing the reverse of the stretch stitch. This is the feather stitch. Um, this is another stretch stitch. And 
like I said, this machine is just serviced and ready to go. It took, it took a good two days to get this one ready. It had the soak. Patterns weren't changing correctly. It had to soak. The feed dogs were locked up. Now it makes a perfectly beautiful stitch. My husband is wonderful when it comes to getting machines up and going. All right, five layers of denim, real denim. Levi's using a size 16 needle. Oh, take it off a stretch. This machine uses regular bottoms, regular needles that can be found at Walmart or online, Joann's. Nothing special needed. And as you can see, it is tabletop ready. It is a convertible, so it cannot be mounted into a cabinet because it is a convertible. A um, couple layers of four ounce leather. You got a light leather project that you need to do. It'll handle it just fine. Of course, it's not an industrial. I'm not going to sit here and sew a belt, a couple layers of belt, because that's not what this machine is meant to do. You'll burn up the motor before you get your belt done. Nice on a couple layers of leather. And that is your Kenmore Convertible Model 1560 sewing machine.